Hey guys, welcome to my channel and today we're going to be reviewing boom, 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 this bad boy right here and that is the Translucent Honey Powder, the Laura Mercier Translucent Honey Powder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get straight into the video because we ain't got enough time to waste. You need to see what this, what this is doing, right? So how am I popping curls? <laughs> I'm doing too much head movement. I'm doing too much. I have my hair in curlers because... Um, I need to set my hair and I need to look like a cutie today so you know you got to set your hair and I've just learned this technique and it should hold in your curls for longer but I don't know if it's my hair curlers that be playing me but lately my curls haven't really been staying in so I don't know if I need to buy a new set because I've had them for about seven years now so yeah we might have to we might have to do a little bit of shopping so Let's get into the video. So today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be reviewing the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Hmm. Now, in honey. Now, I have a bone to pick with Laura Mercier, right? And that bone is, why is it taking, what, no, why did it take you so long to come to the UK? Like, America had this in about like i want to say july to be honest with you i was i was stalking that website like a mofo because i was like please can you just bring it to the uk we're ready for the translucent honey because the translucent powder is a current staple in my foundation routine so um, let's get started i'm gonna actually do my foundation routine so i'm gonna like whiz over that should i let you guys see it i might do i might not do we'll see how it goes so yeah Okay, guys so okay let me give me let me give a little round 
off of this powder so pretty much this is the second time that i've used this powder the first time i used the powder i was i was sincerely i was just not impressed with this powder i was not feeling it and that was because my usual routine with my translucent powder the just the plain white one is that i would use the sasha buttercup and then i'll put the translucent powder on top and then um, when I used it the first time, and I'll probably show you a picture of when I've used it, when I used it, was I used the Sasha Buttercup setting powder again, and then I used the Honey Translucent powder, which was, for me, I just felt like there, there was no difference, like, this isn't, this isn't working for me, like, what's going on? So I kind of was like, oh, is there any point in having this powder? So today, I was like, okay, let me review the powder, but instead, let me use it on its own, because that's what most powders are for, most translucent, rather than mixing and matching, or having to mix and match, you just use it on its own. And guys, I'm very, I like it. Like, I'm, I'm very, very, very impressed. I used it on its own, I baked with it, I, I dry my face with it, like, it's so smooth like under my eye I don't, can you guys see it's so smooth I used it here here and ah oh, I just can't stop looking I'm looking at myself in the mirror I just keep on baby you look gorgeous like you truly look gorgeous like damn so this powder is I love the formula of the Laura Mercier translucent powders because they are just so fine and so silky and so smooth and I tried the darker powder to use the rest for my face I wasn't really feeling it it wasn't warm enough for me so today I used the black opal powder I'll put all the my all the makeup details that I use down below but I just wasn't I wasn't feeling that powder so I just stuck to the translucent so when honey came out I said baby we're ready for this but this shade it is not um, it's not honey <laughs> I would call it more like a a peachy type of color i would say it's more peach like on camera when i show you guys when as i'm doing my makeup on camera it looks way more it looks way more yellow but it's not it's very very peach but in saying that the powder bangs like i love the powder underneath my eye because i can use it on its own 100 percent it's a yes for me <laughs> So those are pretty much my thoughts of, of the um, powder. I definitely feel like if you've already got the translucent powder, wait until that runs out before you go out and buy honey. But definitely for dark skin women, if you're dark skin like me, even darker, even lighter, chocolate skin, everything, it is 100% a yes, yes, yes from me. And I wanna tell you, my under eye is so, guys, it's like the way it's just, blurred out i wasn't even gonna like bother with this um review but when i saw miss sid and how gorgeous it looked on her skin i said we have to give it another go we have to give it another try and that's the thing about makeup you may not like it the first time that you buy it but you've got to mix and match you've got to make it sometimes you need to it might be the foundation that you've used with it it might be the concealer that you use with it so it's just like I just had to figure out how to use it and how to properly like it because the translucent powder originally I didn't like it but now I love it it's a staple so the honey powder 100% is definitely going to be a staple in terms of my um foundation routine because I look my under eye looks flawless like it looks really nice anyway guys Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. It was a quick one, tutorial and review. It was a quick one, but if you do want to see me review more makeup, let me know what you want to see down below in the description bar. Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, you know. Follow me on all things, all things popular. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Love you.